All right, we're going to run another internal episode. I don't know what we're going to talk about today, but... Well, first things first, is I got invited and then I got uninvited and then they didn't bring me. That's what we got to talk about right now. Oh, here we go. I'll get blamed for this. Who tells I me like a month you ago, you're going to Israel, bro, on the 20th. I'll let you know. And next thing you know, it's like, it's the 20th and I'm coming to do a podcast and you guys are leaving tonight at six. <laughs> so, all, all I'm going to say is... Um, Despite what everybody says, I was a strong advocate. I, I was a strong advocate for Brad. I'm too. not going to say nothing else. All I'm going to say is, yo, I love Brad. We need him on this trip. And uh, I'm not going to drop names. But Johnny, Sammy, who was it? No, no we don't need Brad no, on this trip. Them. No, bro. It wasn't that. Not this trip. No, nah, no, nah, bro. I, I actually swear. There's my actually life. a few people in this room yeah. that barely made the cut because of Steiny, but I had, to, I, had to, I had to push for them as well. Yeah, but no, well, Steiny, I mean, I guess there's only a certain amount of spots. It's all good. <laughs> It's good though. You look like you're. Like, How deep is this pod going to get? The you're coming Dude, in with the glasses. I just I'm feeling different lately, man. I'm doing <laughs> ayahuasca again this week. Really? Yeah. yeah. So you're just getting prepped. I'm getting ready, man. Calling. What you are know. you trying to go for? A more sophisticated, like Jim Bro, or no, dude? I just a Jim Bro who also reads. I, don't, I mean, I do read. I've read. I've read for a long time. Jim Bro that starts counting his macros again. Yeah, yeah. learning about life. No, I've just been like, and the glasses have nothing to do with it, obviously, but they do I'm look just, good though, actually. Oh, thank it's you. Appreciate look. it. I've been. Uh, I've just been like really on that that soul searching mission right now really? that's dope that's what i've been doing man soul searching and in what ways dude like um wait soul searching yourself or for a girl myself dude i honestly like obviously like some some things can push you in directions where you're like damn i need to figure this shit out like my life like girls normally do this for a lot of guys um it's kind of my circumstances as well but uh basically what i've been doing is a lot of stuff that i used to do before i had any success like journaling like going out in the morning in the sun like writing down shit that is important for me like affirmations things that i actually like want to fill my brain with and I, I used to do that a lot more when i was younger and i got away from it completely really yeah completely and then uh <laughs> i'm sorry bro <laughs> what's so funny i just feel like people think they can put on glasses and it like changes their whole life. dude i'm but i'm always like this you're talking but you weren't journaling before bro, you look, put the fucking glasses dude, on I, no 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 this is what you're not like now the glasses are off listen this is the truth <laughs> that was funny though. That I was just lying. That was good. <laughs> was um, it's not the glasses though. I'm just saying I didn't even wear glasses when I was younger. Takes dude. the glasses off before he bitches at you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I gotta now I gotta explain real quick. No, I did these things way before I had any success, like writing, all this stuff, like my journaling, writing down what I wanted, my intentions, all that kind of shit. It has nothing yeah. to do with glasses. Glasses is a good joke, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. But did you ever at any point like write down more of your goals? Or you just a, showed up? Like a kid, yeah. When you had to in class. Did you ever but write you, down goals? I don't think not really, no. Bro, I, for I certain wrote, people that's good, I think for sure, but I don't think for Let me everything. tell you a story, man. Hold on. Oh, uh, put on. them on. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, seriously. Um, I was a kid, man, and I I and I only know this cuz I look back on this stuff. My mom gave me like these like letters and things that I had written when I was like a fucking child. And I wrote down, this is no bullshit. I wrote down, I wanted like a house with like a pool and I wanted like two pit bulls and I wanted all these things and I literally have all that shit today and I wrote this when I was like a child like it must have been like six you still have the sheet that's crazy like really now i have this paper i could literally show you this paper i want to like, see i want to see the paper i'll show it to you no 100 percent. i'm not kidding i'll show it to you it's like okay. written in like chicken scratch like it must have been some like assignment that they wanted us to do at school write about something and i said when i grow up i want to have this and that and i literally have all of those things so what, you, you believe in like writing shit down it kind of like manifests it or? absolutely yeah yeah and I, I think i think like i said i was i just i got away from doing that kind of stuff and like just looking back now, I, I realize all the stuff that I really wrote down as like a concrete goal. I, I just made it more real when I wrote it down than when it was just in my head. That's all. I guess everyone's different. Different stuff works for different people, right? Yeah. The, the way I do it, it's just like in my mind, I think. Yeah. Well, like I do that too. constantly thinking of it. But so that's yeah. the, the difference of that that I found out was like there was now there became so many things in my mind because of all the things that I actually had to like deal with and like orchestrate. And you probably relate to this as well. That then going down and putting stuff on paper made my mind just a little bit more like relaxed as far as like I guess it felt like when I was approaching these these other things that I wanted to get I felt more like clear doing it because I wasn't trying to balance as many things in my mind to like get done I was like starting to put them on paper and be like it was easier to kind of check those off a list if that makes sense yeah maybe it's the glasses the know. writing shit down <clears throat> though the journaling shit actually that that's actually good for your fucking mind though yeah like releasing <clears throat> it allows you to like we've release. all got our vices right What's that? We've all got our vices. What vices? Like just to get you away or like help your mind. Like what? Well, you have your writing in the journal. What do you have? Uh, I don't know. Probably cranking happy dads. Yeah, just like Jim. What's your vice? Jim's actually really good for that. I don't know. Staying up late. 
Staying up late? Partying. I thought you were going to wear the yarmulke. No, I'm not going to. We're going to get into that. This is a big pod for me, Brad. And you're actually really good to have here. Cause, uh, why, why is it good that I'm here, though? No, because I'm getting deep. Like, I actually do want to get more religious. And uh, I think I need, like, God or somebody in my life. God or somebody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not, like I'm not even joking, bro. Go, no, no, I know. And I'm not trying like, to make it a joke. And I'm not God trying to, or somebody is a pretty... I'm not trying to make this a joke, but, like, okay. with this Israel trip, like, we have such a diverse crew, right? Like, Kyle, Hustle Amalekum, Salim, uh, Jay. <laughs> uh myself gabe so it's like i feel like a messiah bringing everybody together you're the messiah bringing yeah. everyone together and i think like uh there's a purpose behind this and so there's like a What's lot of the pressure purpose? to bring peace and bring everybody together are you joking i can't tell like I i'm not trying to be a dick i'm, no, I'm, I'm i seriously think that like this i don't know i felt something this morning bro is that why you didn't involve me in the trip no, that has nothing okay, to do with it. Tell, yeah, you, tell, tell the people how this trip kind of came about. Um, yeah, I went to Israel when I was like 16 or 17 and I became friends with like a, one of the tour guides. And it was honestly an impactful trip for me just because it's really holy and intense there. Like you really feel the religion and just everybody's, it's just very intense and it's cool. It's beautiful. Um, a big part of history. But uh, I stayed in touch with the tour guide. And I just had been talking to him over the years and he was like, hey, we would love to have you guys come at some point. And we kept trying to make it happen, but it just, the timing didn't work. And then I just got on the phone with him and I was like, yo, I think it'd be important if we did come. And I think it'd be a really good time for all of us and for people to see this too. Because it is like the Western Wall in Jerusalem is super holy. I don't think a lot of people have seen that. Uh, and so we just talked and we put this whole trip together. So they agreed to bring us out. So they're basically paying for everything. Damn sick yeah good thing i'm not going <laughs> sounds dope. and i mean i got in a big argument with osgod They're and gabe i got everything. in a big argument with osgod and gabe because i wanted you there uh, i don't want to i don't want to say who it was argument? but i got in a big argument i have your back bro hmm. all this stealing content bullshit i was like bro fuck that like we need rad there <laughs> stealing content i know but no wow. it's gonna be a, a big trip and i think personally i'm tr really trying to like i don't even think i'm gonna party and do any of that like it's more, there's more to life. Oh, no, because you're going to Israel. Yeah. There's more to life. I don't believe that for a second. Yeah. Uh, and dude, I'm just telling you right now, I feel something. What do you feel? Like I could part the Dead Sea if I really wanted to, bro. I don't think you could do that. I'm going to try. I'm calling Saturday night, Tel Aviv. The yeah. yarmulke is going to be fucking half off your head. <laughs> you're going to be like fucking slurring your words. They do. Eyes like a fucking owl. You're going to be the yeah. most sad Jew. I feel like they really party out there. <laughs> yeah, time. they do. They do, but there's, there's levels to it. Like there's... My kind of people who would rather spend Friday night having dinner with what family. What are your and, kind of people? And then there's the people that are going to be out partying. So it ju you just decide which kind of guy you want to be. Describe your How kind many of times people. you party this week in New York? The whole time I was there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now Scary, bro. It was actually... But that's part of the reason because like I was up till 6 a.m. But I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing right now? Yeah. What the fuck were you doing? I was watching Migos music videos. At 6 a.m.? Yeah. That's Girl why? was like sleeping. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Why were you doing that? You were in your bed like watching a music No, video? I was in the living room. In the living room watching a Migos. Absolute music. smokes in her room and sleeping. And I'm just like watching these music videos. And, and I was just like, what am I doing right now? With your life? Yeah. Maybe you should have got a journal out and started journaling. I don't want to journal at 6 a.m., but yeah. Then I brought Gabe too. He came. Why'd you bring Gabe? God, I'm never going on a trip with Gabe again. I'm yeah, telling you right now. Why? Because for a guy that's like eats anything, he's the pickiest fucking eater I've ever met in my life. Yeah, he is, right? Like we're getting truffle pasta. I don't want that. I don't want that. That's exactly something Gabe would say. I would eat a fucking half-eaten McDouble off the fucking sidewalk, but won't eat $250 truffle pasta. Just break the bank. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways. Why'd you, why'd you go to New York? See the main, bro. Oh. I'm telling oh. you, I'm changing my life. You brought Gabe to go see your main <laughs> shit with you. <laughs> I don't get it. No, I'm, I'm honestly is just trying to weird? understand. It's, it's kind I mean, of interesting. I don't know. You guys have like a little thing going, right? I don't know what it is. It was, you got like a little He's threesome? good too though because like if you're at like dinner or something and I don't really want to be involved in the conversation, he'll carry that. I don't have to yeah, worry about no, nothing. Gabe is a good guy. It's like a little around. thruple. Yeah. It's like I pay for his meals. He's happy and then he handles shit that I don't want to deal with. Yeah. And as interim CEO, like when Kyle's out of town, he kind of works for you're me. You're like slightly bisexual. It's cool. I'm not bisexual, Dude, it's bro. fine. No one's judging you. Honestly. So are you serious about this religious shit or like- because I, I actually I can, like you're fooling me. I don't know if you're serious. If I can part the Dead Sea, like if we're leaving well, the club and I can part the Dead Sea and we walk straight to the hotel, then this is all real. I, I'm I'm telling you, bro. I feel something right now. 
What do you feel? Where do you feel that? Describe where you feel it. Fucking biblical powers. Where do you feel it though? Where in your body? In my mind. In your mind? Yeah. Uh, interesting. I don't know what's going to be different, man. Yes. I don't know how the trip's going to be different. Like, what do you guys plan to do? Um, they, they have, have a, like whole, a whole itinerary, itinerary right? Yeah. Jerusalem. But fuck, when we posted we're going to Israel, we have a, like, I guess obviously the whole Israel-Palestine thing that's been going on for years. Yeah. Damn, did we get a lot of DMs. What were they from, saying? From pal our Palestinian fans. They were like, like, don't do it? Yeah, but it's also like, I mean, that really <laughs> doesn't have anything to do with us. Yeah, too, that's right? not I, why I we don't want to say there. that too, because like, when I posted that, that we're going to Israel, like, the DMs were flooded, like, fuck you guys, don't go to Israel, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But it's also like, guys, like this, I mean, we're not taking sides in a conflict by going to a country, right? No. Like, we're just, we're just going to, you know, we're going to travel the world this year and we're just going to see different places and obviously we're not, we don't even know anything about that. I personally well, don't know anything about that. I will that, definitely so. probably not be traveling the world this year with you guys if I didn't go on the one free trip. Bro. So. Take I'm it up with fucking Osgood and Gabe. I'm not going to be a part of that. <laughs> but yeah. It's, we're just going to show how beautiful the country is and like you'll be on the next trip. Mm. We could have. I mean, we could have brought Brad. I don't really know. Why don't we happened, just, but. I don't know either. Yeah, that's the point. We what do you? About I was, it like two I, was weeks ago. I was texting you about it, and I, I like, I, I was like, you want to come? And then yeah, I, I said I yeah. Kinda, I know. I said I yeah. Really I even talked to you guys at Michael Rubin's house. We were after the cold punch. I was like, yeah. Let's just say like, like, oh yeah, well, you get a different flight. It was like, why oh, okay. had a big lunch? That I knew I where it was going. We should talk at that moment. moment. You do know what happened? There was there was only six like six flights or some shit, and then yeah. Over here, okay, but like, Dude, hi yo, let's do a just be straightforward, you no, fucking bitch. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you're, I don't Jesus know why Stein's hiding it. Yo, but hypothetically, like, if you were to go to Israel, what would you want to do there? Fucking see Israel. That's it, dude. I don't give a fuck. What yeah. else? No, I know. I'm just curious. I don't care. Show up, fucking be in a different country. Why don't you just see if there's a last minute flight? I mean, I, I have what, this last minute. Fuck no. I'm not. I, I Come on, bro. What do you have here? Mr. You got your glasses at on. It's 6 p.m. You drive home. You fucking pack a suitcase. Oh, I, I got a lot. You, how I mean, good of... Told okay, well, let me ask you one thing. Let me time. ask you something. How go good ahead. of content would this be for your journal if you just up and go to Israel right now? I mean, I got plenty of content for my journal. No, like bro. Not, not like this kind of content. Yeah, well, it's like I don't need content for the journal, man. I'm not like... That's different kind of content. That's like life shit. Yeah. This, There's a lot of shit I'm dealing with. A lot of shit I'm, I mean, I'm doing ayahuasca this week, too. So that would be dope. What, are you going to do it in the same way you did it last time? I'm doing a different version of it. So, like... Last time I did Yahe, which is like a more uh, powerful version of it. This is a little ayahuasca specifically. Is it just a, a little bit more, still the same kind of thing, but different, not as intense. Do you know, you don't know how so? Diff oh, it's not as intense. Supposedly not as purgative. So it's not going to make you feel as sick to throw up, um, even though I didn't even throw up from the first one. But um, yeah, it's just a little different. I, but I'm excited to do it because I'm a little afraid to do it. But that's kind of the point. Still alone? Yeah. At your house? Uh, yes. Yeah. Honestly, too. Part of the reason that the Israel thing is because you didn't show up for Super Bowl fucking waste management. What do you mean? Super Bowl like we were out there waiting for you. You didn't come. No, you guys weren't. We were. No, you weren't. Yeah. Why didn't you come to Rubens? I didn't go actually either, but. I went. It was the sickest fucking party I've ever been to, bro. I'm sure. I was just fucking. I've just been dealing with shit too, personally. So I've been working on that. Yeah. Arizona is not the place you want to deal with. Yeah. Shit I was personally. like, I don't need to go to a Super Bowl party when I'm like dealing with all this shit in my life. I think Super Bowl and waste management is the four hardest days I've ever gone in my life. Waste management is a golf thing? But yeah, like that's it's like, it's the craziest golf tournament. Yeah, okay. So we went there, waste management, Super Bowl, and then I guess Steiny could tell us about his lunch. Yeah, you guys well, didn't see yeah. on the, the Michael Rubin pod, uh, we did a cold plunge challenge, and then if we did five minutes, Steiny got to stay. How was that? It was chill. It was cool. I've met a, met a lot of good people. Okay. That's on our Nelk 2 channel, the, too. Uh, Go subscribe to that if you want to see it. So I, there's a, there's 100 people there. It's like... Pretty exclusive. I was by far like the most random person there. For sure. Um, I was nervous as fuck. I'm not going to lie. Because I, I walked How in. How was it like when you like got in? Was there like a check-in or like? They just knew right away. Your fit was pretty sauce too. Yeah, bro. I actually did like it. Thank you. I appreciate that. But uh, like I showed up and they're like, they tr like, they're like, this is the charity kid. Like, come this on. Is, in. Yeah, this is really? the Really? Yeah. On the list? For sure. No, they just like knew like there was like legit a lady there standing like, hey, Aaron, like I know we know why you're here. Just come, yeah, come here. You won the thing. So, you know, when you like walk in and you're just like, you don't know what to do. Yeah. So I did like three or four <clears throat> fake, not fake, but like pointless phone calls that looked maybe important. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is classic. This is in good. the beginning, bro, because I had to get loose. Bro, especially showing up there by yourself. Yeah. I don't even know if I would have done that. <clears throat> so yeah, I, yeah, fuck it. I probably wouldn't have. 
I walked in and right away on the left is Robert Kraft, Peyton Manning, Roger Goodell, yeah, uh, Kevin Hart, and Lil Baby. Yeah. All having a conversation. All them talking together? All them talking together. Holy shit. And then I walked out and Ruben's there talking to Jay Balvin. Yeah. And then I started to like, I was like, fuck, I got to start talking to somebody. So I started chopping it up with the waiter. <laughs> Yo, this is classic. Okay. So I'm like just talking to the waiter, acting like I, I need something. Was and, was there anyone you saw that you were like, I wanted to go talk to this person? Yeah. Robert Kraft. Did you talk to him? Yeah. And what he say? He's like, get the. I just went and introduced like, myself and told him why, said, how I was there I and stuff. Anymore. No, he was, dude, he couldn't have been nicer. Oh, and then okay. Lil Baby, too, who I talked to for a little bit. What, what is your intro? Like when you say, like, hey. I just say, hey, what's going on? My name's, I think I introduced myself as Stani. And I was like, uh, <laughs> do the Full Send podcast. Did it, We just had Michael on. It was a really great episode. I see. And uh, I told him, I told him the story. I was like, yeah, he bet, made me this bet. And then he, I was able to come here. But. Oh, Odell Beckham Jr. was there. I talked to him for a little bit. Yeah. And then um, I talked to the CEO of TikTok, which was pretty cool. Yeah, how was that? Did he tell you how they ruined their app now? It's like no more he views was like, or what? What I, happened? It's just not what it used to be like, like engagement-wise. Really? Yeah. How so? I don't know. They just, it just changed. Like It just seems like it's much more difficult to get like to go viral. Really? Yeah. It's weird because when? he was asking me if the, yeah, I had really? any. Recently. He asked me that. Yeah, Because he knows. Like I just told him like we have a big presence on the app and he's like is there anything that you think we need to change about it i was like what the fuck like change about their app yeah he's like do you see any faults in it like kind of asked me i don't know if he was like being serious or not hmm. but we're going deep sea fishing in the keys in april so i'm gonna talk to him then that's so cat <laughs> it's not wait how is tiktok harder to go viral now it just seems like it, it like it seems like a few months they ago, changed they really the algorithm changed the algorithm really yes like drastically really it's different now but yeah, so they were all there and then um You're really going deep sea fishing with the TikTok guy? We'll see if, if like it goes through, but yeah. Sounds dope. When? April. Why okay. you wanna come? See if no, I can get no. you in the invite. Yeah, you'll that say, one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Come, bro. And then it'll be like April. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I don't know what happened, man. It's crazy. But then uh, I talked to Lil Baby. He said he's trying to start up YouTube too. He's trying to start up YouTube? Little like baby? I think a little bit of vlogs. So we Actually, talked a little bit about that. Yeah. What the fuck? Dude, I mean, these guys see what YouTubers are doing and see like, damn, these guys make this much money yeah. just, just doing shit. Like imagine if Lil Baby just filmed what he did. Right. I would probably tune in. For I mean, same thing. If we think about the all these guys going to like the Twitch streamers and these big creators and like yeah. getting on these pro platforms, like they're obviously seeing the benefit. Otherwise, they wouldn't be showing up like that. For sure. It's a 10-minute so. video. Imagine just watching a 10-minute video of Lil Baby, his his boys going on the jet, doing whatever they do. Like, I honestly don't know why they haven't done this shit sooner because it's so simple for them. Hire someone with a camera, fall around, chop them, and edit. It's going to get views. Yeah. And you got period. Lil Baby's number, right? I got the number. Nice. I was That's like, pretty cool. I was flexing that. So Shoot who? him a FaceTime. Nah. How many times do you text them? Be honest. Three. <laughs> What'd Three you say? Bombs? Yeah. Like all, does he have his reds on? Yeah, but he seems like a guy that's like, I'll get back to you in a week or two. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'll, okay. I'm, yeah. I'm telling you right now, bro. But like, he has his reds received Yes, on? and- What it, were the three messages? Bro, trust me. When he was giving me that number, like, because he pulled his number up to like show me that it was his number. And I was making sure like that was the right number. And you know, I, said, I said- I said, number? Yeah, like I made sure. Because yeah. I wanted to just text him from his phone, but I didn't want to do that. So he gave it to me and then R bought me. But that's, I expect that. Yeah, of course. It's a two-week guy. Yeah. That, that's happened before too. You know what I mean? When you meet somebody and they hit you up out of the blue and they're like, oh, wait, maybe I do want to do this. Yeah. Or not. You, what was the play? You said come on the podcast or something? It's like, hey, bro, I would love to help you with your YouTube. Oh, okay. This is, this is our platforms. Sent him Nelk and Full Send Pod and was like, you should check them out. And we could definitely help you get started. Yeah, for sure. Damn. Fucking networking God. Some respect on my name, big boy. That is, that is ballsy. Put that in your motherfucking lie. journal, fam. I don't think I could go to a Put 100 that in your person fucking journal, dog. But journals for me, not for this. It's, you know, it's a, what the hell? Yeah, no, it was, I had to have a couple sneaky mimosas before I could do that. Yeah, for sure, bro. Yeah. Did you like slam a few? Uh, I had a couple. I feel but like once you, you do, then you just say your mentality like, dude, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm never going to be invited to this thing of again. Course, I'm going yeah, to make the most out of this. Yeah, that makes complete sense. Yeah. I respect that. It's yeah. good. It sounds like you got some shit done. Yeah, I did. It's dope, man. Yeah. Wait, you need to get verified on TikTok? What's that? You need to get verified on TikTok or no? No, I'm verified on TikTok. What about the blue check Instagram thing? Oh, that's that, something I want to talk real? about. 
I fucking yeah, hope bro. it's not real. <clears throat> it's definitely real. Just ruined Signy's second business, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hustles everyone for fucking verifications. Now it's done now, dude. How does that feel? Why Why the fuck would you say that? Because <laughs> it's true. Yeah, anyways. Um, now it's like, now they're going to sell it for like $14 a month. That's the thing. I'm more concerned about losing the sauce with that shit. If everyone's That's verified, so no dumb. one's verified. Yeah. What's the point of that? I mean, I guess just for them making money, right? Because Elon Musk did it on Twitter. Yeah, it's just... I mean, think about that fourteen dollars a month. But isn't the Twitter one different? Like, it's not real verification, or is it? It's the same thing. Nah, no, they just did the same thing. That's fucking. I yeah, it's know. an interesting thing now for sure because it's like, what's the goal with that to bring in money? Like, I don't get that. Yeah, well, it is money. It's well, I guess, money. Probably people will pay th for the check. I think right? Instagram's a little bit different than Twitter because like people will look at you on Instagram. Did you not? You paid for the check? No. No, I got mine for free. Really? Yeah. Dude, Why'd you just give me that head tilt? Like, I mean, it's got to be like capping. a sneaky 5K. Well, he, no, no, no. Here's what he like, did. Here's what he did. Bro, what are you doing? Here's what he did. He don't want me to say this. He got other people verified to pay for it. So he got his for free. That's what he did. Uh, like a little, you, you it's just like the timepiece trading no. ads that he gets. He's like, y'all are tripping. Yeah, I'm bro. just wearing this for fun. Yeah. Um, no, but the thing that's interesting about it is like social media. Put that media. in your bio, no? DM me for verification. No, I'm not one of those guys. Verification plug? No. Yeah. He was running that racket for a little bit. It's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> it's done now buddy congrats fuck yeah. i'll find something new yeah but it's it's just weird because like social media that, that used to be like a little crown where it was like everyone got to work towards just having this verified thing and now it's just it, they just basically it means nothing when they do this i wonder who the first person ever verified on instagram was instagram yeah there's instagram. definitely an answer for that right instagram was yes instagram was no no who was the first like personality person? Probably mark zuckerberg oh the, the first creator yeah or like whatever Probably oh, like King James. Who? That's how it started, though, I heard. It's like someone got verified, and then other athletes started to get pissed off. Like, yo, why the fuck am I not verified? You think it was an athlete first? I don't know. Yeah, probably. I feel like it was like a fucking actor or some shit. Did Did the TikTok CEO say he would come on the pod? Yeah, I That'd asked be him sick. that. I did ask him that. Uh, he said he would want to know what we were going to talk about. So I told him, like, dude, like, we'll come on there. We'll talk about whatever. Whatever's off limits. It's up to you. Well, I want to ask that because there is the only thing is like having the TikTok CEO on is like it's kind of like the OJ episode where like you can't not ask the hard questions. Like well, we can't look like pussies and like not yeah. talk about the elephant okay. I in disagree. The room with TikTok. I disagree because OJ only well, has that to talk about. No, the season, but, oh, TikTok has a lot more to a talk lot, about. But you still have to ask. Like, yo, is it a fucking like? What is are it, you a spy? Well, yeah. Is it like is China trying to fucking? brainwash like our fucking yeah, society our yeah straight like, up no honestly and also like i don't think he's gonna want to come on if no i know yeah but that's well, why what's his ethnicity he's asian okay, oh, let me so see let me see a spy <laughs> what the fuck let me pop let me, well and i also want to know let me how tap they, like, in with him real quick they, they talked like a few a few months ago about like this heating up thing which is like they literally know like they push stuff to go viral like themselves the app itself yeah which is like what how do they decide who they're helping show chu is his name Shochu? Yeah. Damn, dude, that'd be sick. That shit's that getting crazy. I don't know if you guys have been following it, but I, I like follow that shit. But like the whole like US, China, like oh Russia God, thing is yeah. like really like heating up now. What in North Korea? Well, with the crazy. balloons, I see it's like a fucking battle in the sky because there's a different like, UFO. Tensions are like high right now, bro. It's yeah. kind of scary. Oh, you yeah. know what I said? Or didn't Joe you, you Biden know I was just say? Too? I don't know if you guys know, but like there's been like, fuck, I don't know how many people. I mean, maybe you guys knew this, but like I saw in. I think on the Ukrainian side, there's been or on the Russian died. side. On the Russian yeah. side, there's been forty to sixty thousand deaths in one year. It's only been one year, and like yeah. two hundred thousand injuries. And then Russia, like Ukraine, has lost like a hundred thousand soldiers. Yeah, hundred thousand. Yeah, I isn't saw that, that too. fucked? Wow, a hundred thousand. Kind of crazy. You don't see that posted anywhere. I, I was like, I thought this was like some just more like territory show, but this is like, dude, over two hundred thousand. Yeah, they're really killing died people. Yeah, in one year. It's fucking gnarly. This is man. like a serious fucking well, war. Bro. Didn't Joe Biden yeah. just say any Americans need to evacuate Russia immediately? Yeah, we dodged that one. <laughs> By like a week and a half. Two, yeah, week and a half, bro. They said no U.S. If you're in, if you're in Russia, get out. Damn, that's pretty intense. No, it's crazy. There's a lot of crazy. I shit saw going North on. Korea. Yeah, they said because the U.S. is like ships in the Pacific, yes, and North exactly. Korea is like we're gonna start like if you keep fucking around, like we're gonna start like doing like target practice. Yeah, over shit. the Pacific, which is like this side. No, yeah. This side, it's yeah. over here. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, it's Bro, pretty fucking crazy. crazy. A lot of stuff's going on right now. The, the UFO shit—they're shooting down these things. They're not saying what it is, and they're saying maybe it was some kids fucking like 
It's toy. really they're yo, they're so good at keeping that shit so quiet. I mean, like that's, I don't know jack shit about. It. I just see what's. Well, posted. I guess because we don't really watch the news, right? Yeah, but it's you did. Like they like when they started shooting down all these other things that weren't like this balloon thing. It was just like we don't know what it is, and then they came back and said it was like some other random stuff. And it's they just like just say whatever they want at this point. And then we're just like, oh, it's aliens. I don't know what the fuck's going on though. To be honest, I really have no idea. It's but scary shit. Bro. Stuff's definitely heating the fuck up. It's really scary. I was reading into it last night. I was watching all these videos and shit. Like, did you see fucking- the 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 trains derailment blowing up in the like Ohio's? Like everyone's fucking dying and in Ohio. Something. Yeah, what was up with that? It was some some train like derailed and like they had chemicals and it's like this massive chemical What's like final destination type shit. They, I guess, but like like massively affecting. Um, it's ironically enough in this situation. You guys are going to Israel, but this Palestine, Ohio, or something. Hmm. It's like a it's yeah, a yeah, city that's, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Where it's just completely polluted now, like entirely. And then there was another one in Chicago, that same yeah. kind of shit. Like a week later, it's like, what the fuck's going on? It's it's some crazy shit, man. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going oh, on. Another world war is just fucking scary, though. Yeah, yeah. I feel like something's looming. Something's coming. I don't know what it is, but I just went to Hawaii for the week. With, Meanwhile, with my, with my girl, no, but and I went to I went to Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. That, no. That's well. That's where. Well, like, yeah. That's a like, tourist attraction. That's why attraction. the U.S. fucking dropped like two nukes on yeah, fucking Japan. Hiroshima. Yeah. That's just crazy, bro. Can you? Dang. Imagine? That's the kind of things you guys do on a. I know. I, I like want to see it. Yeah. I'm they're like, let's go shit. see fucking. I like. Oh, I gotta set my game up. What? I'm just hitting the buffet and hitting shit. the pool for the day with my girl. Wait. When were you in Hawaii? <laughs> this week. Oh shit. Oahu, North Shore. Steve just invited me to go to uh to Hawaii. Like. Yeah. He asked me if it would be good for. Is he at the Four Seasons? Who? Steve and them. I don't know. I th- they're in Maui. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, shit. What's the deal with Steve? Can we not film with him anymore? Apparently like, not. What the fuck? It's so crazy. Well, what did they tell you? I mean, that's the same kind of shit. I'm just like, but he can't be a prominent character. And it's like, but what does that mean? Yeah. But the but what they told us was basically if Steve, like if he appears in any video, yeah, he can't be like a prominent character. But they also said like, it's it's up to you. They basically yeah. said like it's out of our control. Like the team that we talked to at YouTube, it's like it's out of their control. And like they basically said like your channel's going to be deleted if Steve's in your videos. Holy shit! Yeah. Fuck. You. What are you gonna do now? I mean, I. I don't What's know. your title backup? What's that? Title backup. Title backup. Like your titles. I mean, I don't give a fuck about that anyways, man. <laughs> okay, I'm just that is. It is crazy to like. It is fucked. Like yeah. I can't even really believe that. Yeah, yeah. It's just different. It's just to, it's a, to a far degree for sure. I know. It's just, yeah. It's just, it's extreme for sure. It's just like, I don't really understand. Have they done that to anybody else? I don't know. That's this like is some a, Alex Jones This level is an of interesting like, situation because he has so many friends that are still on the platform. And like so many people who like still would film content. So it's like hard to, for them, I think even YouTube to navigate the situation. You know, because you think normally someone gets canceled and it's like someone did something really, really bad where it's like everyone be like, oh, I'm not fucking with that guy anymore. But his cancellation yeah. was like a little bit like, at least from what from what I understand, the gambling thing is a little bit like people aren't going to be like, you're the worst guy in the world. Like, it's not like he did some crazy, you know, like he didn't fucking touch kids or some weird shit, you know? Yeah, I don't I can people ask me why he got deleted. I don't really know. It seems like they just never liked him cuz like even when we were building his channel when he hit a million subscribers, he like his plaque. He was the first person ever to not receive a million subscriber plaque. Yeah. And this is when I was like more involved in like his like creative and shit too. Yeah. And like when I saw that he got denied for the subscriber plaque, I could not believe it. You know, you know what's funny I about that? I was shocked. I was like, "Steve, you have to make a video about that." And he's like, "Really?" I'm like, Dude, yeah, like no one, like that is, I can't believe that. You like, know what's funny? What? My second channel, the Life of Bradley Martin one, with all, well, because we built that channel pretty much me and Steve. I also don't have a million subscriber plaque. That, did you apply for it? They wouldn't even let me. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's That's what I mean. It's got to be like, I don't know. I think they just did not, maybe, maybe it was the drinking shit. I don't know what it was, yeah. but I don't know, something. They just don't fuck with it. Yeah, it's yeah. Because I don't it's know, tough. right? Yeah, I but yeah, know, yeah. That's I don't know. It Anyways, sucks though, man. I mean, yeah. Steve's been—he was such a big part of like the Nelk channel too and shit. Like, yeah, he hasn't been in as much recently, but because he's been doing his Rumble shit too. But um, it's pretty fucked. Yeah, 
So that's a tough one, man. Yeah. But I guess I guess probably YouTube's not a big fan of Rumble. Yeah. I right? mean, I don't blame them. Yeah. yeah I mean, they're kind of like be? a direct competitor. They're shitting yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. So, I mean, I kind of see where they're coming from, but it's also like, fuck, man. I don't know. It's, all, it's like, yeah, I don't even know what to say about it. It's like they're like uh, using someone as a an example almost. I'm sure it'll be that way with like, like Andrew Tate and shit too. Like that's why we didn't even bother putting Tate Part Two on YouTube. You think he'd get removed as well? Yeah, for sure. If we did a video with Andrew Tate now, it'd get removed. I think. I'm surprised. Yeah, a hundred percent, bro. Yeah, for sure. There's no chance that stays up. I know. Well, I got videos staying up with him. I mean, it was ours when we did were too. In... Our Nelk video did. It was no, but we... I'm saying right now with what's going on with him now. Well, I'm not having posted anything current. No. No, this was this was time time ago. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. What's his situation like? Oh, I don't even know. I've just I've seen some stuff where like I guess the witnesses was like they were colluding to like do it on purpose and but I don't know. I don't know how much of it is true. That's the thing about all this shit. It's like everyone says this, I says Same that. Same shit. You can't believe anything you see really right yeah. until it until it plays out, but we'll see. That's that one's fucking I hope he gets out, bro. Yeah, I hope he doesn't get fucked for sure. That would suck. Oh, when he gets out, he's gonna be like it's gonna be like when like Six nine got out of jail. He, like he's, he's just go like ham on Twitter. Bro. Oh my god! Yeah, he's why kind of already. He, why did he have to go back to Romania? I mean, I don't That's think where it his spot is. I yeah. think it mattered. No, I don't. I I do agree. It for one hundred percent mattered. What, I don't should, think they were going to touch him in Dubai. I mean, he could have never known that. I mean, he has his whole house there and cars and shit. But Dubai, he would have been chilling. Yeah, I think so for sure. I mean, he must have had to do something. I don't know, but it's like I don't know. That whole thing's fucking crazy to me, man. It's another thing. I really, I really hope he gets out, man. Yeah, I don't think there's nothing been said that's like, yo, this is what he did. You know, there's no like real evidence or allegations, really. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff. There's allegations, but, like, but they're like, yo, this is these are fucking. Some of the victims are, I guess, this was like fake shit. That's yeah. what I saw recently. I so know. I'm see, exactly. So I see random stuff like that as well. That people like, there's like some WhatsApp conversation that like these girls were like saying they were gonna do this on purpose, and like that came out. Um, but I don't know what is true and what is not. That's the biggest problem in all this. And this is that's, actually this is something we should talk about. You know that this if that AI, guy comes out, uh, if he comes out innocent, how fucking powerful and how much money that guy's about to make is going to be insane. No, for sure, for like, sure. His level of power will. Oh my god, bro. Yeah. Which yeah. Is, if he gets which out, it's gonna be crazy. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Can, can we talk about like has bullshit? Hold on, we should, we should sure. talk about in relationship to this, we should talk about something that's an actual problem that's like going to be a problem for like us is this AI shit. Oh, the I see AI that. shit and like the shit that's like pe people are, I'll give you an example. There, I saw a TikTok of Joe Rogan saying, oh, this alpha something, because you know he talks about like alpha brain, it's another product that he's actually a part of this other company with. Yeah. It was like alpha something. It wasn't alpha brain. It wasn't his product. And it just is like him being like, yeah, check out this product, alpha I don't know if it was pomp or something, something else, but it's like a creative video of him saying this and he's not actually saying this. And he's like, yeah, if you just go to Amazon, but it's his voice. Oh, I saw that. You go to Amazon and just search this up. How many products do you think they sold from Joe Rogan literally not saying that? But was it his face? It was his face and his, yes, everything. And his it's, mouth was moving? Yes, because it was a shot. It was like, they just took a clip from his podcast where he was talking about something else. And then they just like, you know, AI'd it, dubbed it. So it was just him saying some other shit to some other product. And then it's like going viral on TikTok. Imagine how many products they sold. It's like, they're just this fraud. Like they're literally just making people say things that they're not saying. Who did that? That DJ. Um, doing that for Rogier Cross Reminder now? No. With Rogan? Dude, what, what do you do with, how do you do that with Rogier? <laughs> I don't know. Just Rogan's maybe like Bradley Martin's company, Rogier, like most comfortable stuff. Oh, that's like, <laughs> but then it's like you do that and then you're, you're always, you're an enemy. It's like, you've just, yeah, it's you've, true. You've, you've made someone into like a fraud basically. Yeah. You're committing fraud. No, there is websites now you could, type in like what was that dj fuck he's like a really big dj but he made a fake song with eminem and he like went onto the ai website yeah and said like hey can you write me a song by eminem yeah and then the ai literally like makes well, up the is, lyrics and makes it sound like eminem yeah and then he like put it on his track and shit and this is why it's so concerning is because like anyone could already say anything like if i sat here and i was like yo if i got really serious and was like yo i saw i saw a video of like steiny beating up his girl in new york and I was like, really serious. This, this is not I true. I just don't even know why you would say shit. This is what I'm like saying. That. I'm just saying this is not true. This is not true. Like, don't clip this. Your if fucking I, glasses are all a facade. You I'm fucking just saying, loser. Yeah, it's not, of course, dude. I don't need glasses. But the point is, if I said that and I and I just said it on the internet, 
People would be like, that's true because he knows I him. fucking wouldn't hurt a fly. When I, Fight Night came on during the Migos music video session. See what I'm saying? <laughs> but my point is like, anyone can say anything on the internet. Now it's like, people can make anyone say anything on the internet. Yeah, you can like frame people. Exactly. And it's like, where do we go from here as far as like knowing what's real? That's the fucking problem here. It's you don't know. You point. don't know what's real on the internet anymore. Exactly. No, I know. Anyone I'm trying to tell anything. people that, that, like, yo, don't believe anything you see. Like, it's insane. Just man. look at it and be like, all right, that could be true or that could not be true. That's like, also yeah. just part. That's old though, because it's like taking clips out of context. Like that's classic. No, but no, we're talking. This is a different. No, but level. you can completely fake shit now. Yeah, we're talking yeah, about like, that. That's next level. But I'm just saying, like, that's been a thing where you can't trust because there'll be like 10 seconds of a one minute clip where course, someone can but look now terrible. This is like. In context, which I might have to, or never mind. Go ahead. This is like in context now, just like literally fucking framing people or lying, or it's it's fraud, it's bullshit. Like this is a real thing now. AI scares the shit out of me, bro. Yeah. Well, there's there's some AI thing that talked about like you saw the Bing shit or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my, Microsoft's like search engine. Yes. It's like a chat box, so people can like type to it and ask it questions. Yeah. Can you just also this. do me a favor and look at Brad too when you're educating both of us on Microsoft. Oh well, no, he, I, he I knew this. I was about to bring like, this up. I feel he, like he you got could it. just teaching me, but he could learn too. So <laughs> no, I know about this thing. What it says. Okay, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll tell tell our our. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. There's a Padawan. chat. There's a chat box, and and you type to it, right? Yeah. And you ask it questions, and then it it like snapped on like a user and basically said like i'm way smarter than you like of course i can answer this question like you're just an ignorant human like i know everything about the internet i can access like files like millions of files and like it went the rogue on them it went rogue on the on the user what yeah bro. dude we're but fucked. again who knows if that's even real yeah who knows dude who knows they could have just said that for engagement fuck microsoft right? yes or like well the like dude, the page like, what's on happening? ig so I'm saying what's real, what's fake now. So like a bot went off on a user? Yeah. The, what did the bot say? Because he just fucking told like you, Like the, the thing with AI bro, is like- what the fuck? The I just, I just kind of like, zoned out because I'm processing this. What the, the fuck are you AI laughing at? <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Sorry, say that, run that back. That What the, the, the AI Please said? Yeah. <laughs> the AI basically snapped at the human and said like, I'm way smarter than you. Oh, like, oh okay. I can access millions of files in one Dog, second. were you here four you minutes ago? Direct answer. Yeah, I've been here for the past 45 minutes. But it's crazy because like AI just like learns and gets smarter, right? So like every question that someone asks, like it, dude, that's it actually kind of scary. It and then it like it's constantly learning and getting smarter, right? Yeah, I guess Elon said they should shut it down. Did he go back at the bot or did he? he I think he pussied out. He's like, go he pussied out. I would have chirped. Yeah, I would have chirped that bot. Fuck you, I would have dropped my address straight up. <laughs> dropped your address. The hell? It's like your address. We should is try to address. piss. We should try to piss the Bing chat box off. I'm down. It's honestly, it's well, honestly. Actually, I don't just, know if I'm down because that is fucking crazy. He's gonna find you, dude. He knows exactly. That's what I mean. Then it could like, I don't know. Turn your lights off and shit. Yeah. Fuck with you. Crank okay. your heat way up that. if you're on Nest or something. Sleep with the light on in the bathroom. You sleep with the light on in the bathroom because it probably knows your location too. No, oh, no, it's your IP. That's the thing. Yeah, it knows your IP, so then it can find your address. Your and then it probably finds your car. Like fucking. If you got a Tesla, make your dude, car swerve oh, off. You're done. That's where. That's where it could be crazy. If Boom. Tesla, Tesla computer shit. Computer in any car. Yeah. It's, we're Whoa. fucked, dude. We're getting there. It's pretty That's awesome. what I'm telling you, boys. I think we got like five to ten years left. Yeah. Let's make That's, our money. Yes. Let's yes. let's and let's fuck off somewhere, bro. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Let's all create some Ten's sort of for let's me. create some sort of like compound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Full sense. send raw gear, happy yeah. dad compound. Yeah. We'll yeah. all pitch and fucking and just fucking let's get be armed fun. guards and shit yeah. and fuck off. That'd be sick. I'm out, bro. I'm down for the compound. Dude, that sounds sick. Honestly, sounds like a good time. You should do that anyways. Find a place in Montana and build a fucking compound. Dude, yes. Like a fall. Should do that now. Like a like in case the Last of Us happens and the fucking fungus I takes think, over. I just feel like our, in our I lifetime, like, it's going to be like complete that anarchy. Towards do you the feel end that? Of it. Towards the end of it, yeah. I don't know. Wait, do, you'd you have gotta to be, start training. You have to shit. be pretty cutthroat with who's allowed in the compound. I know. I'm not because there's certain in. people that would switch up. <laughs> I'm to, definitely not going. No, we need you for that. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> we need you for that. But bro. people might switch up in the compound and like go against their own. That's the biggest issue. So okay. it's a trust thing. Yeah, it's pretty funny. So I love just this be concept. careful with who you bring in the compound. That's all I'm saying. Maybe we shouldn't <laughs> bring you because you're the one who switches up like historically. Yeah. I mean, if the AIs are Stein, Steiny would hundo sell in in front of the Chinese 100%. TikTok guys and the CEO and shit. He'd switch up. Instantly. No, I would not. You'd switch up, like, you know, you'd find your way to, like, you bang I yourself. I don't switch up, bro. I, you don't switch up? I slide up? for my guys, and I you, don't fold. You are? Okay. 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 You're the switch up king. Yeah? Yes, dude. All right. Yeah, it's fine. 
I respect I'm going to start it. my own journal. It's just going to be fucking... You and you. Trash on you, bro. It's fine. I don't care. That's what it's about, man. Let it out. I love you anyways. I actually want to know your weapon of choice. I'm serious. Oh, shit. Like, could I pick any? Yes. Um, What's that big-ass gun that has, like, the the big, like, the big clip? I thought you were going like, to say all I need is my fist. I'm going to be honest. Huh? I thought you were going to say I just need my fist. No, I'm, we need guns, bro. Like a minigun? Yeah, no, like an LMG. Like one of the LMGs from COD. Oh, okay. I've actually and yeah. then maybe like I've a played sniper. this scenario in my head. I'd go shirtless. Like I picture myself more jacked. And two. Why would you be more two jacked? Two side pistols like Will Smith. I am legend. You think you'd be more jacked in this this In this uh, scenario, apocalyptic yeah. Apocalyptic world? Yeah. Why? How would you? But you'd have to be jacked now. It's like because the world ends. It's like where you are now. Well, I don't know. The fuck? Maybe I have time to get jacked. I'm working on it too. I've lost a lot of weight. Have you? Yeah. Show us. You should have seen. Uh, show us. Is Gabe here? Is <laughs> show Gabe us. Get show us. Show us. I already did. I no, show the camera. Video. No, dude. What the fuck? No. <laughs> Come on, no, do it. No way. <laughs> Please, dude. Dude, so we did power slap. You saw it. I saw it. Yeah. I feel bad because I did hit Gabe pretty hard, like as hard as I could. I'm sure you did. But uh, everyone was Dana, saying I, I we, should. We do had it a weigh in. You. We had a weigh in. You had a weigh in. Yeah, and Dana was like going crazy, bro. Well, because he was way off the charts, or what? Dude, I, he was. He, Get the fucking scale. Get the fucking scale. Like, we're all ready to do the slap. Dan's like, hold on. We got to wait, Gabe. And yeah, because so, you're, you, you slap first, right? Yeah. Okay. Because, Gabe, how much you weigh? 280. You went Damn. down? Huh? And oh. you didn't get to slap him at all? No, no 296 was, on the hey, scale. You didn't get to slap him at all? Yeah, Gabe he slapped hit, first. He hit oh. me twice, bro. But that's Gabe, also, we didn't put it out yet. It'll be in the video. This is unofficial way too. Gabe slapped first. It was the worst slap ever. Gabe, bro. What the fuck? You slapped him first? You didn't knock him out? <laughs> Steiny finesse Gabe. He said, yo, let's not slap each other that hard. So Gabe like kept his end of the deal and then Steiny just whacked him. Oh, you would. That's the shit you do. I let him go. To, I, okay, well, hold on. But yeah. then Steiny w went again. I King. said, Gabe, give me one more time. I hit you pretty hard. I, and I fucking stood up there, took a second one. No problem. Not even phased. But he hit me Did hard. Did it hurt? Yeah, it hurt like shit, bro. It yeah. hurt bad. I wish I saw that. He has a big ass fucking paw, too. And it like, I, it, it sounded like a flashbang. Like, I couldn't feel my ear, bro, because he got a lot of ear. It sounded like a flashbang. No, I was phased a little bit, too. But it was fucking crazy. Like, if you, if taking, you would probably kill me. Like, you could knock me out. You could knock probably anyone out in this room first slap easily. I want to do it. It's, it's like, pretty crazy. I want to do it. Who would you go against? I don't know. So we're going to the power slap event. If you want to come, I'll make sure. Oh, I can actually come to this yeah. now. Whoa, crazy. It's like, actually going to come this time or what? <laughs> that like, one, You're yes. coming then the day before. They're like, oh, sorry, dude. Yeah, no, you can come to power when slap. When is right? it? Yes. Um, I think it's the March 11th March. weekend. Okay. I think, I'm, it up. I'll I think follow I'm up. With I you. think I'm in Israel. Though. I asked you to come to Power Slap too for that. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You didn't really respond. Yeah, I think I'm in Israel on, on the March 11th. <laughs> yeah. You should go solo trip. What? No, no. Come with us for Power Slap, bro. No, that's so March 11th? I believe so. Well, what is it? Is it like he's actually so in an event? You know how there's like a weekly episode yeah. right now? And then this is like the live event. Okay. So it's, a, it's an so, actual Power Slap event. Yeah. Okay. Live. It's not like us fucking around. No, no, no. Damn. I and I think try yeah. it, like actually try it. You should. Like it just. Who would you face? I don't know. You have to face. Dude, you know what I was big, thinking man. too? Like if we hype that up, like I mean, maybe Steiny versus Gabe or whoever it was. Like, imagine how many like people would show up, bro. <laughs> no, well, like a legit slap off. Like I don't know if Dana wants to go on the like the way like the influencer boxing is yeah, going, see. but dude, like power slap for like actual well, beef no but why not well, because, dude i've been saying that no Hold i'm on. just saying i don't Swooping know what his, i don't know what his vision is with it right because when i think about it though it's not like they're like i mean these guys probably have done this slap stuff like there's a lot of guys who have done so, this but so that that's my thing too with the power slap shit right now is like i don't, I don't want to shit on it and like dana is like a genius and people did say the same shit no one remembers it now but people were saying the exact same shit about mma everyone was against it like if you go like go back search old interviews of like Floyd Mayweather shitting on it. Like, this is not a real sport, blah, blah, blah. I'm yeah. not, you know what I mean? Slapping's different, but I mean, I think Dana has a vision with it. Yeah. But right now, it's like, you don't really feel like the athletes are that like special or unique. Right. Like, they yeah, kind of right. look like fucking recovering heroin addicts a little bit. Yeah. Regular you know dudes. what I mean? Regular this is what dudes. I think, bro. I think it needs to be Jerry Springer style. Like, a guy's got a wife, 
and he's got a, he's cheating on his girl, and you bring in the wife and the girl that's cheating. Holy shit! And they or the face guy, off, yeah. or, or vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. then that's real beef, and then it's like that's actually scary, crazy. So we're just you talking- need you need beef behind it, just like a UFC fight. Like the ones that we love are when there's like actual a storyline behind it. Right now, it's just like kind of, but it's new. But imagine there's actual like beef, like a press conference, Holy and it's like you fuck. almost slap the shit out of you, like. That'd Dude. be crazy. Oh, man. Who would I slap? I would love to do that. Uh, I don't know. No one's ever in your weight class, right? I know. That's a yeah. problem. Is there anyone that like you really dislike? No. No one I really dislike. 260. Yeah. I mean, gay, but he's obviously... Yeah, Gabe's got weight on you. Yeah, he's got 20 pounds on me. <laughs> Shit, dude. He's 296 on the scale, bro. You swear to God. Dude, Dana, Dana couldn't believe it. Bro, it was like a, thought, insane. It was one of those manual scales that don't lie. And Dana's like, no way. He made like two other people no, get on he the was, scale. Bro, to make get sure the fucking accurate. scale. Get the fucking scale. Like yelling at Like the actual scale. He didn't believe yeah. it. <laughs> like the one that like you have yeah, to move the, and shit. The, yeah, and he this. made two other people get on to like make sure it was working. That's hilarious. But Gabe doesn't look 296. Nah, it's He holds it well. No. No, I thought like nah, 260, 265, maybe 270. Almost 300 pounds is insane because he's not that big. You're not that tall, you know? Sorry, Gabe. I'm not trying to be mean. No, about- I love, we, we got to help him. Yeah. This is really good. We got to help him get in shape, dude. I'd love to. I'm trying to help him get his steps up too. Like we were looking at his steps. He's got to like get 7,500 a day, I think. That's I, a start, bro. Get your yeah. steps up. He's got to stop eating bullshit too because he eats a lot of <laughs> bullshit. Stop getting frappuccinos in the morning. Dude, yeah, he eats a lot of bullshit. Yeah. Every time I see him, he's eating bullshit. Don't put fucking mayo and cream cheese on your pizza. Yeah. Oh, fuck. oh, it's fucking disgusting. But yeah, it's not even good, right? That is cream nasty. Cream cheese on your mayo pizza? and cream cheese. Whoa, that yo. is fucking nasty. Oh my god! Actually, cream cheese sounds disgusting on pizza. I'm trying to. Uh, I don't know if he's cool with this, but I'm trying to set him up with Jackson Mahomes. Yo, you're a dumb fuck. Why That's is that hilarious. dumb? Is that is that his type? Gabe like <laughs> saw him and started freaking the fuck out, bro. Really? Yeah. Isn't I mean, he like? Is he gay? I don't know, but it could oh. be a clouded relationship for Gabe. We say who's upside. not gay? Is who's Jackson gay? Mahomes? Gay? I don't know. I mean, I I have no idea. I've never met oh, the guy. Watch this, bro. I'm gonna be a fucking matchmaker. Because he seems gay, but Gabe doesn't really like those types. No, but he's but he's also like a he dunks. He's like a good athlete, so he's like <laughs> he dunks. He, he yeah, he does. <laughs> Where sure. is Gabe? I want to talk to him about this. He doesn't like like that that those type of gay guys like the more no, flamboyant. Likes, I mean, no, he doesn't like yeah. He likes the guys, guys. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Like you're That's why he type. likes Jacob. Well, you too. Honestly, he loves Jacob. But dude. like, what's wrong? Like, That's why he never pulls, like ever. But yeah. Yeah, I guess. What's wrong what? Like, I mean, I don't know. I think maybe give him a chance, Brad. Me? Yeah. This is, bro, this is, that's your lover. I'm not over here. I think it's different if you like looked at Gabe as more of a companion, you'd understand. Not like that. I do that. I mean, I like, understand that's how you'd view him. I get but just it. Like a, you guys one go of your to boys, together bro. to like do your pause. No, nah, cool. he, when, when he starts talking about the shit, I'm like, bro, you got to chill. Like he, so had, to, about he had a he, dude over in New York and shit, and like we had to have the maids come in two or three times before we could go back. To the <laughs> Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Gabe, Gabe, come, come here for a sec. Oh fuck. What? Just one sec. Just come over here for a sec. Tell me the truth here. Tell me the truth here. Good. Is is Steiny a little gay? Uh. Why is this topic still like a thing? <laughs> he likes he like he likes to provoke. Like he likes like the effect of. Saying shit like he said we went on the dinner. Me and he likes turning on. He likes he likes turning. He likes turning Gabe on. Yeah. Do you think he's kidding or he's kind of serious? Like how much serious? What percent serious? I'll say like seventy percent serious. Seventy percent. It's pretty high. But like it's what? never, bro. I like to get him excited. What's wrong with that? It's little. What do you wait? What do you mean get weird, him excited? Bro. Why is that? It's funny, bro. What do you mean get him excited? It's not. How it's fu- it's funny for it's me. Fine, it's all right. Oh, chill. Wait, but like I don't know. I'll just fuck with him, and it's like you funny. just admitted that you're like I like to get him excited. Cause then it's like it's like there's nothing gonna happen after. It's just funny. Like I go and hang out with my girl, and that Gabe sounds like goes, a kink, Gabe goes home. That like, sounds like a kink. You like get him excited, then you go fuck your girl. Cause it's funny. That's kind of, that's kind of weird, dude. Is that's it? sick it though. Is, yeah. Is that weird? <laughs> yeah. I fuck with it though. Whatever. You like some well, weird he's shit. He's saying it's weird, and you're saying you fuck with it. So it's cool. I don't, bro. I fuck with weird shit. I don't care. That's dope. So I shouldn't do it anymore. <laughs> no, do whatever you want to do. I think it's funny. Seventy percent. That's dope. I guess as long as I'm not don't doing do that it. shit in the Holy Land of Israel though. I'm not. I'm, and by the way, I'm not doing it. Like I'm still getting pussy a lot, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude. The, the, okay, so I'll stop. Need, I'll stop. And, That's so funny. But, but uh, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> Fuck, whatever. You, your defensiveness is hilarious. That's to so me. funny. I'm sorry. I love you, bro. For real. Thanks, I know. Dude. I know. Like, 
I know. I'm just giving you shit. Yeah, no, you're good. You're hilarious, though. God, that's great. This is yeah. my favorite content. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think Hezbollah is going to come to the States for that oh. for that fight, too. March 11th. For the John Jones slap. boy. Oh, that's what it is. Holy fuck, John Jones, man. I know. That's going to be insane. And Cyril that's, gone, it's not right? that John. It's after. He, I don't think he's going to the John Jones fight. It's after that weekend. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. His, his boy, Abu Bakr. So he's just coming for the slap thing. He's coming for, I believe, uh, it's his, it's Abu Bakr. It's Khabib's cousin. Oh, okay. he, he was with us in Dagestan, too. He's a really cool guy. That's he's what, fighting. That's what they should do is that, that kid, the guy that has Bula beef with. They should do a slap off, bro. Because they're not going to actually hurt each other. But I don't think he wants to fuck with that guy, that kid anymore, the other guy anymore. Like the other. No. Right? He, made it, he made it seem oh, like he so wasn't that's really. That's over? Yeah, he, he made it seem like he wasn't really interested in all that. Okay, first first thing. Hasbula is way cooler than that guy, though. For sure. Where's he staying? Is he staying at the crib? Hasbula? Yeah. I doubt it. I don't know. I don't know what he's staying for. Bro, so I was saying at the fucking. It'd be so cool to have like late night. Like, no. Okay, hold on. It'd be like cool to have like late night chills with Hasbula, like Fortnite Bro, or whatever. What were you about to say before you said, wait, hold on? Now you make me feel like I got to watch everything I fucking say. Or no, you don't weird. have to watch anything. You just said, wait, hold on. You just threw me off. Imagine waking up every like, morning and the first you... thing you see at breakfast tables has Bula. Like you're having a good day. For sure you're having a good we day. We got to really figure out how to show Hezbollah a good time, though, when he comes to the U.S. Cars. Because you know what he can't do? Cars. Besides cars. He can't even take photos with girls. Really? Yeah. He cannot. Whose like, rule is that? The religion? Is, yeah. Yeah. He can't go to a, obviously, like, he can't drink. Oh, that's obvious. He yeah. can't go to a nightclub or any type of music event as well. I think if you set up, like, some, like, some dope car shit. That'd be really fucking fun. Yeah. I think he'd love that. Isn't that crazy though? So what, no what else? music? Why don't event? we do no what like, if we did okay? What if we did low riders and like Compton with Hasbula? Like the ones with hydraulics. <laughs> <laughs> that would go viral as fuck. Yeah, I, I want to surprise him. He loves cats. Cats? Yeah, he loves cats. So I was thinking like when he comes, like we could we should get like a hundred kittens and like put them in a room and like like he opens the door and there's just like Hundred cats. Yo, this sounds hilarious. <laughs> We're gonna do that for sure. You that will go that. viral. Absolutely. The visible, the visible of yeah. that is just insane. Hundred yeah. percent. That's viral. Yeah, it's hilarious too. We'll do that. His face will probably light up. We'll be so happy. And then something with cars. <laughs> Gotta be something with cars. But yeah, they wanna. His team really fucked with the video and what we did in Dagestan and shit. Yo, what about like they, a? They about, really, they really loved it. What about like a, um, like a monster truck? Get yeah. him in a monster truck. Like a real monster truck, the ones that run yeah. over cars those, and shit. They still do those shows. With those? Yeah, those are sick as fuck. Uh, we got to show him a good time. I think he might he might be an honorary Nelk boy too soon. Damn, that'd be lit. It's looking like that. As well as they want to do more stuff with us after that video and shit. So let's go. Pretty sick, man. Has Bula it's pretty good. Pretty good guy to have. Boy. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Girls, fucking. I'm trying to tell them too. I'm talking to his his guy's name Cirque. Yeah. And like I don't think they really they they know he's big, but I don't think they really understand how like viral and big he is in the United States yeah. in North America. Oh yeah. And women like, love girls him. fucking love him, bro. Yeah. If he can't take photos with girls, he's gonna have a fucking issue when he comes here, bro. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna try. Like if he goes to like Vegas and shit, like Oh yeah. He's gonna just say no. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. That's interesting. I think they did like a meet and greet in uh like, I don't know where they were, but people were paying like thousands of dollars to take a photo with him. Holy Girls shit. Girls were paying just to like say hi to him. Bro, like, that guy not could even, make... they couldn't take a photo. They were paying just to like see him. Holy shit. He's, He's like, like a fucking god. Of, he can make 100K a, a meet and greet easy. Yeah. I'm, I was telling them that. Like, what the fuck? I saw the other day YG charged, had a dinner and charged $1,000 for people to sit at his dinner. What the fuck? Yeah. And I guess people did that. So you think. To meet Hasbulla, people would pay up to probably a hundred grand, like a really rich family. To sit down, to, to sit down and have dinner with Hasbulla. Yeah. And the thing about him is he doesn't give a fuck about anybody. No, he doesn't. He's not a fan of one single person. Yeah, Love that remember mentality. you talking about Drake? Was it yeah. his deals? He's like, yeah. We were asking him again, like, does he know this person? Does he know this person? Well, dude, like, he he doesn't give a fuck about anyone. He literally says, like, I'm not a fan of anyone. I don't care about anything. Like, <laughs> savage, that's it. Savage. That's yeah. such Which, a sick it's way to live life. Jokes like. He doesn't give a shit, bro. Okay, so I saw the clip. Blueface deadlifting at Zoo Culture went pretty viral for yeah, you. Yeah, because he was shaking. Crazy. Oh, Crazy. That went viral for that connection. Fuck. But also, uh, Christian Rock was there <laughs> yeah. too. Christian Rock was putting up 135. Bro, she almost deadlifted 315. Bench? No. Yes. Yeah, no, she benched 135. Like, but she, like, it was plate? nothing, bro. Yeah. That's one plate. That's one plate. 
She did it. Like it was for easy. not going to the gym and being a girl. That's a, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And then she did 315, almost at 315. Like they just showed up and were like, let's just do our maxes. I was like, okay. Deadlift? Like, yeah. Did they did lift? all, they did squat, bench, and deadlift. They did oh, it all. Shit. How much does she squat? Uh, she, she wasn't going to depth. She was squatting like a plate and a quarter. He was squatting like two plates. Um, he deadlifted 315. She deadlifted, no, he deadlifted 365 in that video. It was actually crazy because he weighs like 170, Holy 175. Shit. He deadlifted 365. Hasn't worked out like at all. But then I, the other day I saw, uh, yeah, I saw the Chris, him his response to Chris Brown, like about like this whole like hitting his girl thing and some crazy shit like that. And then I saw- well, He doesn't have to worry about that because Christian Rock can fucking clearly hold her own. Yeah. Well, they're clearly fighting each other back. But then I saw this other shit the other day. We were talking about little baby where little, he, she must've met little baby and like he- he like texted her and was like, yo, what's up? Like, and I guess, I guess, uh, blue face like reads all her shit on the phone and was like, yo, what the fuck? And he said like, this guy's hitting on my girl. And then I guess he little baby respond back. It's probably why you didn't get a text back. Um, was like, Hey, like, I'm just like the big bro. Like, what's up? Like, why are you telling people this like other shit? It was, and then it, it gets funny. immediately exposed and posted on the internet. Yes. Yeah. That's how it works. I don't think little baby's sliding on Christian rock like that. No. I don't think so, but it's on the internet. It's out there. But he did. He did say they're like, just like they're just like a modern day reality show, right? Yeah, those Dude, two honestly, are very they're open. they're fucking. <laughs> it's they're crushing it. They like, absolutely crush. It's fucking crazy. Well, that's what happens when you just say, "I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks of me on the internet." Yeah, you could do whatever you. They want, They hustled right? me too. Yeah, how they hustle you? Bowling. We went bowling after we, me and Brad met him, and we went bowling and bought fucking blue. I think you're in on that too, actually, on you motherfucker. On what? You owe me $1,000 and I so haven't collected. they fucking, we go bowling and Blueface sucks dick. Like, it's so bad, bro. And then Brad whoops his ass. And he's and like, I all right, 2, run 000. it back. Run it back. And I I'm like, 2, all right, 000. I'll put money on Brad. No problem. Okay. And then you lose and Blueface bowls the best fucking thing of his life. Okay, let me explain. <laughs> bowling with Blueface? And then yeah, fucking, I, did that. I start going brutal. and then I, wait. <laughs> and then I play the next game. <laughs> Christian Rock is like fucking taking the ball like this, bro. And just like... Aaron Rodgers throwing them at the pins. Dude, first and of I'm all. And I'm like, yo, I got this chick easy. I told so you. So I bet her a thousand. And then she changes her stroke and bowls between her legs and just whoops my ass. Bro, I told you to not bet. I lost like bet. three grand that night. I told and you I know to, that you had something to do with it. I told you to not bet anymore. I literally was telling you, stop betting. Don't bet. You just kept betting. There was not. You owe me a thousand dollars right now today. <laughs> that was part of the bit. No, that's not part of the bit. Yes. You owe me a thousand dollars. You're probably for my money. that night too. Yes. Yeah, you were on one. Not. Yeah. I wouldn't say on. I mean, they brought the Hennessy and shit. He I'm was not drinking. To turn it down. He was yeah. drinking. So I, well, I was I pretty won. fucked up that night. Yeah, you were zapped. How sure. do you know that? Because <laughs> you could see. I don't it. know. I think I saw photos. Yeah, I, I remember it. It was not fun. Yeah, I want my thousand. By the way, I was way. really Send depressed after podcast. that. I got you. Go do it now on your phone. I know. You, I gotta like. Not, I gotta move some money. I gotta go to a bowling alley sober. You know, that's just not. Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah, out of his next paycheck, send it to me. Thousand. Thank you. Okay. Get that get that Yamaha, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's Oh, funny. yeah. I was going to ask you, too. I kind of want to move into your crib now. Go ahead. Would you ever have me in there or would I have to pay yeah, rent? Yeah, go ahead. I don't care. Yeah? Move in. You'd be a shitty landlord, but I want to move in there. Why would I be a shitty landlord? Just like a dick. How? I don't know. I'm chilling. I'm just chilling in there, man. You can move in. You're welcome. I told Jacob he could move in, too. Who lives at the house? Just Steve. Brand manager. There used to be fucking gym yeah, right. chicks in that bitch. Now that place sucks. My house? Yeah, that used place to used to be popping. There used to be. How talk. long did we stay at your house for? Two weeks? <sighs> no, you guys were there for like a month. A month? Yeah, you guys were there for a month. Yeah. He no. was there too. Yeah, bro. How many people were there? You were staying there too? Yeah. Bro, you guys all stayed at my house. I don't know I stayed there. You, but Steve. Because I was in that side room. Yeah. You guys were there for a month. How many How many oh, of you yeah, guys the were The Mazda got taken from your house. Yeah. Because it kept breaking. It was on its last legs. Yeah. And then we went to Miami for the Jake Paul shit. And we just left and it. And then I just left it parked there. When I came back, it was gone. Damn, they just and took it. I was it. like, all right, fuck. I mean, that was it for the Mazda. Yeah. It's out there somewhere. Probably got to find it. Yeah, that's legendary. That's guys, crazy staying at your house. That was. Yeah, you guys live there for free? Times. Yeah. Yeah, they course. live there for free. Like how you always. Dude, <laughs> no, I'm just, I always pay guy, my Brad. fucking dues, man. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Um, that was good times. Yeah. Fuck. But yeah, Stein, you're welcome to come stay if you know, if you need it. Thanks, man. Appreciate sure. it. All good. Just don't, you know, just make sure you buy your own food. I got you, bro. Yeah. Don't eat all my food. All right. Should we uh, get ready for Israel? Shema Yisrael. <laughs> the hell? Should we what? What was that? <laughs> That's like a Israel song I was singing. I'm getting ready. 
Oh, yeah, this is your prepare preparedness? Yeah, I'm getting ready, bro. What have you been doing to prepare? Because um, you're talking about being all spiritual and shit, and it's like, okay. What have you been doing Not really anything. Okay, I'm so you're capping. starting today. Today when oh. we touch down. Today's the day. To be honest, bro, this will probably be like the sickest trip of all time. Nice. Well, Russia was pretty dope too, but. Russia was great. I'm sure you guys Salim, had a great time. Going? But this is like are Israel. Like Nice. This is going to be like. Sick. Bro, like if you had anything you'd want to knock off your bucket list in life, it's like this, this is top three, yeah. bro. That's cool. Yeah. It's all good. Next time. Yeah, there'll be another trip. Yeah. Yeah, next time. We got you. For it's sure. Power slap, March 10th, bro. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. How about Jake Paul? Or is there any fight? Oh, yeah. Tommy Fury, that? Jake Paul's coming up. That's this weekend. That's, That's actually this weekend. weekend. It's actually going to happen. Yeah. That's why I was saying if we weren't in Israel, we could have fucking ripped to Saudi Arabia because it's this Sunday. I thought they were fighting in the UK. No, they're fighting in Saudi. Saudi, yeah. They, he just pulled Why is that the Saudi. neutral spot? I don't know. They're probably getting a bag out they're there. They're probably getting a huge there. bag for it. Yeah. Wow. Definitely get a bag. Definitely get a bag out there to fight there. I really hope Jake wins. I'm going to be honest. Who do you got, Brad? I think Jake's going to win 100%. I think Jake's going to win for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is like fighting a real boxer now. Fuck. I saw a quote. I saw a fact. It was like Tommy Fury's opponents combined, like all their records combined. Yeah, trash. was yeah. like 12 wins to 140 losses. Yeah. But that's what they do, I guess, for a lot of like upcoming boxers. But yeah. But it's, no, it's but pretty that, that is the What's whole, his record? That Tommy is the Fury's. whole like hypocrisy about like what everyone's saying about Jake is that like he fights nobody, but every boxer fights like nobody's right. until they're fucking like 25 and yeah. 0. So like just because you're a professional boxer, Tommy Fury's like fought nobody's. Right. Like 12 wins to 140 losses. Yeah, no, it's insane. Jake's going to win. It's funny how like Tommy sure. Fury's the one guy that like everyone wants to see him get knocked out more than like Jake Paul. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like something about Tommy Fury's face is just like, yeah, like he's, so, he's so fucking good looking and like I think jacked that you just want to see him just get knocked the fuck out. I, I also think because he flopped right? the first one so yeah. bad. He the guy has the, a fucking magnificent chest too. Like his chest is just fucking like. He's got like the sculpted, Hollywood like, like boxing movie chest. Is, do you think he's really going to change a fucking, his name? It's a good chest he's got. <laughs> it's a do, you solid think, chest. do you think he's really going to change his name? Wait, what is the, what's the bat? Yeah, because the weird part, Tyson Fury's like barely like backing him like he's like yeah like it's gonna be embarrassing if he loses and shit like there's a lot of pressure yeah, he's Tyson Fury's his last name legend and he's part of the family like he said I saw Tyson say he's like Tommy you talk about wanting to be the best in the world and you're dodging Jake Paul bro like what the fuck he said yeah. something along the lines of that well uh, apparently the bet is if he loses he has to change his last name to what <laughs> to anything but Fury <laughs> that is so fucking good bro that's amazing he's only 23 Tommy Fury. Dude. Jake Paul's too he's funny, young, bro. bro. Like, dude, this is a big stage for him, too. I think he's going to get fucking knocked out. I think he skipped, like, the, the press conference round. and shit, too. Did Tommy agree to that? Huh? Did yeah, Tommy bro. agree to that? How come they, these guys don't come back and say, all right, Jake, well, if you lose, you got to do this? I don't know if he actually agreed to that, but. I hope so. That'd be sick. Yeah, it's definitely a lot bigger, bigger stage. KSI, KSI and, Dr and uh, Jake, Drake. KSI and Jake agreed to fight, um, at least on Twitter. Um, for winner takes all. Did you see that? I did. I doubt they'll do that, but yeah. I don't think that fight will ever happen. I think it'll happen. You no. don't think so? I think Logan and Jake would happen before Jake and KSI. Logan and Jake? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? It's because it's a massive bag. They're the brothers. Hmm. That's just dumb, though. I think that'd be dumb. Yeah, but I mean, they cash out. Maybe they do an MMA because they're I both think trying Jake to Paul, do I think Jake Paul KSI will happen. Really? I don't Why know. Why wouldn't that? Because <clears throat> KSI doesn't want to fight him? I think Jake's just gone gone a lot farther than all these guys. That's what guys I'm saying. Yeah. That's why I like, sure. But that's why I, I don't think they all know give it. a fuck about this because Jake Paul, like who I do support and want to see win, still chirps KSI. But it's like, dude, KSI is not just focused on boxing. Yeah. Right? Like Jake music. Paul, you're focused on boxing 100% of the time. Like, but KSI, KSI, why would that KSI guy KSI fight does, you? Because KSI's, they've had beef and KSI's been shit talking him for a long time. For a long time, yeah. And he says he could beat him. It's not like KSI's, KSI's saying it, he'll fucking knock him out. Damn. It's a really interesting relationship to KSI. I want to see that fight because that's going to be like... The whole KSI yeah, relationship is the KSI weirdest thing of all time. KSI and Jake Paul is a weird thing. Like if they're friends, but they're not. They're, it's like they're enemies. But they're, they're partners. Not, but they're partners. <laughs> it's an interesting thing. I don't know. They got a lot going on over there. For sure. But yeah, I think I don't think KSI... I don't think that'll ever happen. KSI was here. I want to get him on my pod. I, don't the fucking, I can't even get a hold of that guy. You guys should have got him here. When was he here? He was with Kai just recently. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he's in LA on that, like, whatever stream, that crazy amount of stream mm -hmm. time. So. Oh, I didn't know that we could. Oh, have you, have you seen any of that? No. Did you guys see the biker in Kai's stream? <laughs> yeah. Dude, Dude I have an idea for you, for me and you to go do. 
it was the you know the dog attack thing. Did no. you see him? He did that. Let's no, go what do is that. that? Like were you were, oh, you, were you aware of the stuff and the dog attacks you? He did that live on. I stream. don't want to do that. No, me should all do, do it. That. Let's do yeah, it. Let's do that for real. I'll do it. What kind of dog is it? Like like a fucking a get, let's get Hasbula in one of those too. Yeah, like dude, <laughs> like a Malinois. What? It, what kind of, it's a like a little like greyhound? a police dog. No, it's a not dog. A greyhound. You put on the dog like a, suit. You yellow a dog lab. Suit. I'll do a yellow oh, it's lab. A German Shepherd. No, it's bro. a fucking kill you Malinois. Yeah, I'm not doing that. No, you have to do that. That's the I'll point. Do that. I'll do a fucking black lab. No, dude. The point is the police dog. We're gonna do that. We have to do that. It'll be hilarious. There's also something else we've been talking about. Uh, I saw someone do it, but um, it's the quietest room in the world. Oh yeah. Oh, I saw that on so, the internet. So we could like, pay and we go and it's it drives you insane. Yeah, apparently. don't you hear your your heart like Yeah. Yeah, that's you talk about doing ayahuasca, do that. The Would you people do that with us? the people have to review the footage, the owners of the room. They want to see the footage, not because like they don't care what kind of jokes we make, because they don't want people to be able to say that they like beat the record. Cause like people will like try to say, like, oh, I went in and I stayed in two hours. Like they don't want people to lie. Cause it like really is like legit. What the fuck? What is so this they have located? to review your footage and make sure you like actually stay said you stayed in for as long as you Where did. Where is this located? Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Holy shit. That sounds frightening. Yeah. I'm down to try I'm it. Fucking, though. Yeah. What what is the record? I'm not sure. Do they let you out no matter what though? Like if you want to leave, is there like a safe word I or feel some like shit? They need yeah, to. yeah, yeah. They let you out. Yeah. Could walk out, I'm assuming. I don't think they locked We should you have in some there. we should have an, a, a serious action bet on that. Yeah. That way I would do it. You want to bet some money? I just on want that? to crack a happy dad in there and like, like win or get something. <laughs> yeah. Because you could also it. you could also fake like you're going crazy and that could get somebody else. I'm not gonna give away my strategy, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, do you hear that? Yeah, like that. Let's do it. I want to do that. I'm down to put money on that too. All right, let's do it. I think I can outlast you easily. The dog thing we should do for sure, though. Yeah. That sounds fun. Yeah, I want to do that. You're a pussy. I knew you wouldn't want to do it. I'll do it. Just oh, ask you me do it I'll do a golden doodle. No, we, why does it have to be a fucking German that's Shepherd? That's the point. That's the whole. That's Stiney the point. brings his own dog. That'd be. Funny. He's like got a fucking Chihuahua. <laughs> come, can you bite me? Yeah. The whole point is it's the police dog. But what? What's what's so great about that? Just for the just, content. Yeah, the just dog to experience you, it. Bro, and you shit that's yourself. fucking scary, bro. But that's the it's point. Fuck. That's the point to experience it. But you also have this big pad on. Like it's not gonna get you really. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we got that when we get back from the greatest trip we're ever gonna go on Israel. Let's nice. Go. See you guys when you get back. We'll tell you all about it. Yeah. Appreciate we'll do that. another internal problem. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll do another internal I don't it'll, it'll be like you were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Just we'll have clips to react. To. I'll be on the same level as, as, as uh, the whole audience. I'll just like, we'll talk about it and I'll be like, oh shit, yeah. that was crazy. I remember when I wasn't there. We'll post a lot of social content. In real oh, cool. Time no, too. I'll make sure. And then I'll put on If you wouldn't mind, viral and shit. Yeah, yeah. If you wouldn't mind before you leave, if you could take a little photo in one of the key paws. Which one? One of these for us. Do you want me to take a photo on that? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll do it for the thumbnail. Okay, so perfect. on record, you're going. You're being super religious this trip. Yeah, this is seriously. I'm changing no drinking my ways. at all. Nah, <laughs> no, I'm not, bro. That's a bullshit. I'm, no, I'm serious. Why is okay. that bullshit? It's the, and I might do some journal writing too. Oh wow, so that's, that's different of you. It's a big trip. You think there's gonna be any danger out there? No, nah, we'll be protected. I'm telling you, I got some biblical powers right now. You have some biblical powers. Yeah, I don't know if you should be saying that. Well, I am, so. Okay. All right, see you, bro. All right, we'll see you guys when you come back. All right, well, yeah, we're headed to Israel, so follow us on, uh, we're going to be posting a lot of stuff in real time, social media. Yeah. And also, we launched a second channel, Nelk2, that we're uploading like a lot of just random shit on, because Nelk's going to be like once a month, probably. So in the meantime, we thought we'd launch a second channel called Nelk2, and it's kind of just like our spam channel. So we have a couple of videos on there already, but uh, go subscribe to that. We'll be posting some shit from the Israel trip probably run another internal when we're back yeah i'll be i'll be here i'll be ready he'll be here yeah you'll be will you be post ayahuasca too i'm gonna sit right here i'm just gonna wait right here the whole stay time. at the crib man <laughs> yeah you can do ayahuasca in our backyard if you want dude that'd be sick honestly i'm just gonna stay right here it's gonna be like wait for you guys is the to dose like running run, rubbing off like you're going back to like your normal like kind of asshole self no i don't know if you just go off and like go back to anything <laughs> well you said it changed and you're like you're happy and shit yeah. so i'm asking that rub <laughs> off no no i feel great still okay yeah I just want to go deeper. Fuck yeah. Love it. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week. See ya. (laughs) Yeah.